you have to do this is fairly easy here within the four walls of the church. But once we get out there in the world, it can sometimes get a little bit harder. But over and over, Scripture reminds us that as believers, we're to stand firm. 1 Corinthians 15, 58, Paul says, Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Know that you're... For no, you know that your work in the Lord will not be in vain. And then in James chapter 5, 5 verse 8, he tells us to stand firm because the coming of the Lord is near. And in 1 Peter 5, 9, Peter reminds us to resist the devil, standing firm in faith. Uh, <laughs> Luke, Jesus himself teaches that uh, by standing firm, he will in life. So tonight, we want to join with these great people of the Bible, Bible and echo the words of encouragement to stand firm, both as an individual and as a church. How does this look? Well, we must stand in His power and not in our own strength. We live in a society that glorifies an independent spirit. However, this could not be further from the truth in our spiritual walk. We must become dependent on the Holy Spirit.